What's hatching, Toga Peeps? Two Perius here with episode two of the one and only Storm Drain with the man, myth, legend, and porn star. <laughs> what the fuck is up, YouTube? It's your boy Garrett420 for real here. With my boy Two Perius, you know, with a five. <laughs> yep, with so, a five. So let's hit off episode two and let's try to make this one under 30 minutes. How about that, yeah. answer? <laughs> That'd be good for me. <laughs> So, what do we want to talk about? Let's let's start this off. So, everybody wants us to stay Pokemon related, metagame based. I think so, porn would be more suiting. Oh, wait, oh, well, I mean Pokemon. You know, we got to keep this a little bit uh, <laughs> good for the kitties, because you know the 14 and under crowd is the majority of our subscribers. Yeah, <laughs> it is. So, so we're going to talk about things that since last gen have changed that are drastically affecting the metagame. And we're gonna we're gonna spotlight two Pokemon in particular who were underperforming like crazy. But since you've started playing, Derek, what are some things you've noticed that are changed in the metagame that have completely altered the landscape of Pokemon Wi Fi battling? Um, let's see. Honestly, in this gen, the whole explosion thing really threw me off. Now you don't have to worry about explosion. Yeah, it's happening, running rampant. You know, a whole team of exploders. You know, what I mean, it's, right. that's a great thing. And the sleep mechanics is one thing that really pisses me off too, because that's, you know, if you if you switch out, it should keep the sleep count. Uh, that's all I'm saying, because you know that's kind of dick, because one of your Pokemon is intoxicated. Right. Well, that also ruined rest. Exactly. Except for Shed Skin Scrafty. Right. Well, for those of you who aren't aware what we're talking about, we're talking about the sleep mechanic changing to where. Like, say if you use the move rest, normally you'd stay asleep for two turns. Well, stay you, say you rest, stay in a turn, you'd wake up your next turn. But say you have to switch out. When you come back in, you will have to start your turns over again and wait an additional two turns to wake up. Well, that goes with any kind of sleeping whatsoever in this generation. That is which, a bit... Yeah. And because, well, sleep talk isn't even a TM anymore, I don't think. That would be so nice for sleep talkers. Right. But you, I mean, unless you import them from last gen, half the sleep talkers are straight out because almost nobody learns that move, naturally. It was a TM, so. Yeah. That's why. I, but, you know, sleep talk would be a good move this generation, but fuck. I don't really run it. I don't ever run a sleep talker. Right. So I very rarely ran sleep talking, even in fourth gen. What about a taunt nine core? Because I yeah. actually noticed that one earlier. I was like, okay, taunt this thing. What? Right. My shit only lasted three turns? I was yep. like, oh. And like, I let the Mew die, so I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, this the mechanic on taunt and encore has been removed, or has been reduced. Before, encore, I believe, could go from three, I believe it was all the way up to seven turns. Yep. And taunt was, was, what, three to five? Something like that. Well, now it is set at the lowest setting at three. So you're only going to get three out of it no matter what. And that's just... You stay uh, in the setup and it bites you in the ass. All right. That's well, what I did, and I was like, oh, fuck. Some Pokemon can stay in through three turns a turn. <laughs> it won't affect them. Right. It just It's just not as effective as it was before. Or even Encore. I can stay Encore for three setup moves as long as I can take a few hits. Most Encore Pokemon can't lay any lay down any hits. Yes, exactly. That's why they are Encore and Pokemon. Right. Because they only support, which is, you know, which you fucking bite them in the ass if they get taunted. Exactly. No, no attacking moves. Why would you do that? Exactly. Well, one thing... That I mean, you notice this. The ver this will be the very first thing you notice when you get on your first Wi-Fi battle in fifth gen, is the team preview. Oh God, that's a killer, dude! Electivir can't lurk around corners waiting for that you know thunder wave to come in. Right. No, they know it's gonna happen. Right. It and just it, it makes you had to. It has to. It really affects strategy that came out of the fourth gen. Like you said, Pokemon that absorb. Like Heatran to absorb fire moves or will o wisps, or Electivire to absorb electric attacks. Right. <clears throat> or even Pokemon that don't like, uh, like normal types. If they're expecting uh, a Shadow ghost Ball. type, yeah, exactly. exactly. They they fucking switch it on their normal type, but right. then you can predict that now because you see what the fuck they got, and you're like, okay, what's gonna counter my ghost the best? Exactly. A normal. 
hey, let's go for the focus blast. Exactly. And it just it just plays out to like it takes the whole fun of the predicting. Well, you got to predict anyway, but still, it still right. like makes it <laughs> obvious to what to predict. Right. Well, it it changed the way you have to predict. Before you just say, "Hey, this is my this is what the majority of people are running. This is what I want to look out for in the game." Right. As to where, "Hey, he knows my team. I know his team. What is he going to think that I'm going to do in this situation?" And instead of just saying, "Hey, this is a smart play that that, that should be done," it's, "Oh shit, I know what he has. What's he going to do with it?" Right. It's like, "What's going to come in to take this obvious move?" And that's pretty exactly. much how it goes. <laughs> exactly. Well, one thing that I've noticed with that, which I mean can be beneficial, is if you have something that you know can just wreck balls, you can destroy the counters on his team and then set up perfectly with that Pokemon. Right. That was one. I mean, with Natore, or not Natore, he's not called that anymore, Ferrothorn, with him only being weak to fire and fighting moves, if I know to take out two or three Pokemon, then I can bring them in and set up and curse sweep, which I have done, not to brag. <laughs> but, I mean, in my opinion, it's a lot easier to get sweeps if you know what is on their team to threaten your sweep. Yeah, exactly. Because I totally forgot. I was watching Team Preview earlier. And I was looking at the Team Preview earlier, and I totally just looked over the scissor. And I come in with my scratch, and I start bulking up, and then comes the scissor. I'm like, fuck! Yeah. Ah, I forgot about this thing. I'd have got that thing out of the way from the start. I'd have baited it and got it the fuck out of the way, but no. Yep, yep. Uh, and you can't play Wi-Fi Pokemon without running into Drought and Drizzle. That being... I got wrecked by one yesterday. Game, yeah, that being in the OU metagame has completely shifted how teams are being created. It's just fucking like instant... All right, here's an instant badass team. Let's just throw Drizzle on it. Everything's fucking super powered. Oh, in right. Fucking in the rain and, you know, sun. Oh, overheat's massive in the sun. Fuck. Why right. not just make a team? Why does it have to be, you know, sandstorm, hail, water, dr- drought, drizzle, you know, all that nonsense, but whatever. Hey. Yeah. I stray away from that shit. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of using weather teams. I mean, I've used the sandstorm teams in my day. They're exceptionally good teams. Right. But I don't try to build a sandstorm or a drizzle team. I mean, unless it's like some gimmick team. I just built a drought team for my uh, 420 special, but you know, hey, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Well, and especially drought with V Create Victini. Oh my god! Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's clever, dude. Wow. Why well, I've think... I've run into that a couple times already. You That's can't fucking... stop that thing. No, even if you resist it, you're dead. Who gives right. a uh, fuck? <laughs> four times. Re- I mean, even if you bring in like a Kingdra or some. I mean, unless you're bringing in a Flash Fire Pokemon, you are shafted. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on my team and I'm gonna battle you with it. Yeah. <laughs> and like I said, with Team Preview, you're going to see the Nine Tails and the Victini. And, you're and, gonna be and thinking, they're going to right, like they're gonna see team. what's on your team, so they're going to know what they have to knock out to just bring in Victini and rape shit. <laughs> Victini so, is a monster. I don't know why the fuck's it UU. Like, that totally blows my mind. But I'm going to use it. Hey, I'm going to use it until it goes OU. Oh, it'll be OU next. <clears throat> it wasn't OU because it didn't have, what, Fusion Bolt or whatever the heck it's called. Yeah, it's Fusion Bolt. This is uh, Bolt. And V-Create, V-Create were released, like, the last week of the testing. Right, and that's really the selling point for Victini now. Oh, exactly. It's pretty nice that it learns Quick Attack, you, I must say, but, you know, hey. Yeah, I saw that in your last battle. I took it off now, though. Oh. I switched out the Victini <laughs> for another Victini, and it's going to be even better. So, I just found it didn't have enough speed for me. Nice. Well, one thing that I've seen with that Victini is if you can set up a trick room before you go for your oh. first V create. I don't remember who I was watching a video with oh, that. Oh, flaming spade. Awesome. Yeah, it must it might have been spade. Because Scissor was just telling me how to flaming spade use brought a Victini with trick room. I was like, "Oh shit, that's clever." Yeah. That's clever. Yeah. That is that, that Victini is a, good is a monster, dude. Victini can live a fucking hit like a monster and it, All right, straight 100 stats. I mean, it's up there on the level with Celebi and Jirachi, and... Yeah? It's got good stats. I mean, it doesn't have great typing. No. But... Uh, but v makes up for everything that it lacks. All right. And the ability, okay? Victory Star Pro shit, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. You barely miss any fucking attacks now because of that on all your pokes? Nice. Right. 
it's a good support poke for sure for that reason. Yep. So another thing that I have written down to talk about is the Rotom forms getting the new typing. That is that is a huge change. Yeah. Because now, you know, super effective Shadow Ball is not super effective no more. All right. Well, it, I mean, it made certain Rotom forms really good and made other ones really bad. Rotom Wash is a fucking monster. All right. Well, All there's a reason it's OU. Right, because... It's a fucking monster. <laughs> exactly. Only weak to grass. Right. That's a you know that's the best part about it. It's and it, got... it's it's bulky as shit. Yeah, it is bulky as shit. I use a fucking defensive one. That's what I use. I never right. I never used a fucking offensive Rotom wash. Right. Well, what I loved about the Rotom forms from the old from fourth gen, I mean, which it's still in this gen, is its raw stats are just so good with almost virtually no. Ev investment, it can barely get one hit KO'd by anything. Now misses like 128 bit. Yeah. And now he's gonna answer me. Huh, I got it working now, fool. I'm pretty sure it's important. <laughs> I hope yeah, we so. had a little bit of trouble with the audio on this again. But I hope it's in one fucking speaker at least. Hey, if it's only in one speaker, I'm sorry. I will fix it again. I'll just try <laughs> to, or at least smash my computer if it doesn't work. One or the yeah. other. All right. I have an awesome video for YouTube if I do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But the Rotom forms were, I mean, uh, the only other one I can remember seeing on the list before I even stopped looking was Rotom Fire, or the Heat form. Right, the Easy Bake Oven. Right. And i that's the one I've used the most since uh, the generation show. I have yet to make one, but I am going to make one, um, one of the every one of my guests now, you know. Right. I saw, I a, I saw a clever Rotom fan, is that it? Oh, yeah. Oh, with uh, Confuse Ray Parafusion. It was pretty funny. It was pretty nice. nice. I laughed. It walled the fuck out of me. Yeah. I want to make a, the, the what was it called, fridge form, the ice form one, just because, Rotom I mean, Bleak. ice electric type. It's the only ice electric type in the game, so it's got perfect stab coverage. Yeah, you're right. I, I've, I've only seen one, like, once or twice. Well, I, I... It's weak to stealth rocks now. Yeah. With okay. the ice... F- Oh, that pissed me off so bad. Oh, that is true. I need a rapid spinner, speaking of which. Yeah. And that's one of the other things that it took away from Rotom was it, when it lost a ghost typing, it it Game. can't spin block. Right. Which, I mean, I haven't come across a, a huge amount of rapid spinners this gen, but no. it was still a nice thing for it. But yet, fucking Stealth Rock is still rampant everywhere. Oh, right, well... How much stuff is Stealth Rock weak in this metagame? A uh, lot. A lot. Well, uh, all the dragons are back, and I think the only dragon that isn't weak to it is Garchomp. Well, Haxorus is neutral. Yeah, Haxorus is neutral. And, uh, what is that, Kyrum or whatever? Yeah, I don't think it made OU this gen. No, it didn't make OU Not this yet. gen. It's UU, but still, it's still one of the dragons. Right. Um, and he's the ab- yeah, the ability Sturdy is so much more useful this generation. <laughs> I've been abusing it. Dude, what's a good... I mean, it's a free focus sash. Yep, and then you can focus sash something else if you want to be a total dick, but, you know, hey. Exactly. Oh, I lied. Kyrum is not as weak to it. Two times effective. Yeah. But Sturdy, I mean, I'm sure everybody's seen Flaming Spade Aaron sweeps. Right. I mean, the Sturdy ability, I mean, I've seen... an um. Captain Ridley, I was watching some of his PO battles with him, and he had a a sturdy pain splitting nose pass, and it would just wreck teams. <laughs> We'd set up toxic spikes with Venomoth or uh, Venonat and just destroy from that point. It, it was an insane combo to watch. <laughs> that sounds interesting. But yeah, it was definitely a good abuse of the sturdy ability. Um, one more thing that I can think of that has really changed the metagame, and then we can move on, or you can try one more, is there are so many more plus 100 speed Pokemon this gen. Oh, God, dude. I counted them before we recorded this, and they added 26. Fucking, dude, really? There's that many? Because, dude, like, I found my Gengar, I can't Life Orb it, like, I love my Life Orb Gengar, but 5th gen, it's not plausible. Right. It is not plausible to have that thing. I had to slap a scarf on that bitch to even make it effective. Yeah. And I just fucked up by not making it 
you know, timid scarf, but whatever. Yeah, the last, I mean, like I said, there were 26 Pokemon added with 101 or higher speed. And that crazy. that's 26 out of 68. That they added to this game. God damn, dude, that is sick. Yeah, there are 68 Pokemon with above 100 speed, and 26 of them, them came, came this from gen. gen. Yeah, this gen alone. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty extreme there. That's all yeah, I'm gonna considering say. that most of the Pokemon above 100 speed, I mean, at the very top of the list, are freaking Uber. That's a lot of plus 100 Pokemon that got added to the OU metagame. Right. Because not many that were added this gen are Ubers. Not yet, at least. Well, I doubt there will be anyway. Yeah, most of them that have that much speed, I doubt will make it to Uber that I was looking but at. But man, what? Like, that shifts the whole metagame a lot, too, because, you know, everything is based by speed unless Trick Room is up. Right. Well, before, you got to consider 100 was pretty much the base speed line you wanted to be able to beat. Right. No, you wanted what, your Pokemon to outrun. Right. You <laughs> wanted to be able to outrun 100 base speed. Well, now there's so many Pokemon above that. The bar has shifted. Yeah, it's just insane. So it's crazy. I was thinking about that. I was like, man, there's so much fast shit this generation. Like, Terrakeon, that motherfucker is quick as fuck. You know, like, shit like right. that. And he's a huge threat, too, anyway. Right. He can rip through teams by himself. And, dude, like, I don't know. Whatever, there's too many fast Pokemon now. Right, well, the metagame is just so offensively based compared to the stally shit that people used to pull in 4th gen. It's just... That's nice for Mind-numbing. Me. I like fucking fast pace, but... Yeah, at the same time, too fast could be a bad thing. Right. It was just such a huge jump. No, not everybody was expecting this jump, neither. Right. What were you expecting? I, you know, why change this shit, honestly, so hard? Well, gradual change is understandable. Right. Well, you got to consider we're talking base completely off a competitive battling yeah, exactly. attitude. And Game Freak, I don't care what anybody says, they do not change Pokemon games with competitive battling in mind at all. I don't think so neither. It's probably for the kids. Really, they don't make money off competitive battling. No. <laughs> they make money selling the freaking games. Right. And I don't care. I mean, I don't know how many idiots I've seen. Oh, well, I don't know why Game Freak treats a competitive battling environment with such shit regard. They don't care because, what fucking exist. I mean, until recently with that King of the Chair tournament, Pokemon competitive battling was not really viewed at all. In the game environment. Of course not. I but mean, now, I'm, but now, you know, it's starting to get somewhere. It's actually, it's starting to get pretty big now. Right. I just want to make the point that Game Freak does not make their decisions when they change the mechanics of the game to maybe they specifically will start. affect game or Wi-Fi battling or anything like that. You know, they might they might start. You know? Oh, right. It would be wonderful if they did. Because Call of Duty's actually making the move to, like, well, Treyarch is. Fucking, they just added a competitive playlist to, you know, your right. game options, which, you know, puts the competitive rules into play. And, like, they asked for that, and, you know, it finally got to it. Maybe, you know, companies will start realizing the competitive scene is huge. No matter, well, no matter which game you play, the competitive scene is fucking huge. All right. Because uh, Counter-Strike, game's over 10 years old. That right. game still, you know, having world national tournaments for this shit with like, you know, fifty thousand right. dollar cash prizes. Yeah. It's sick. But this isn't the first game that the competitive environment is starting to shine on. I mean, some ones I can think of, Call of Duty, Halo. Right. They're all stuff like that. The all gaming online. Community, the gaming community as one as a general is fucking blown up. Oh, right, right, right. Over these past few years, the gaming community with YouTube and everybody commentating, which is great, you know what I mean? Fucking, that's giving the the gaming invi- the gaming community something that they need, you know, some recognition that, you know, hey, there's a lot of us here that do this shit for fun. Oh, exactly. And, you know, should be fucking, you know, don't hate about it, just enjoy it. I know you, everybody got a little nerd in them. <laughs> right, right, and we're getting <laughs> off topic. Uh, oh, well, that's what this, what is this about, man? Eh? Whatever. Right. All right, I've got two more things on my list to talk about, and they were recommended 
Buzz via, via comments. And they were two Pokemon that what most people are considering are underperforming. I mean, the first one is obvious. Mew went you you, which people are still having canaries about. Dude, I, I'm using one right now, as a matter of fact. That thing is a fucking monster. All right. Oh, God. The, the thing that I think is keeping Mew behind this gen Speed? is it's not very fast. That's, that's the only thing that I got wrong with it. You know what I mean? And it's psychic type. Right. Unfortunately, all of its useful moves are not psychic type. So, exactly. I mean, I just run psychic on my plain and simple staff. Right. Hits hard. Fuck. Let's just run. That's all we need. Right. The good thing about Mew is it can take a hit from just about anything. It's It's got solid stats. It's just not getting the usage because most of the stuff in the metagame outpaces it, and it can't switch in without getting two hit KO'd by a lot of stuff. But Mew doesn't. No, I've noticed mine's been getting O code. Maybe I'm just being a retard with it. I guess after rocks, that's understandable. Right. I keep forgetting about rocks. I don't have a rapid spinner on this team. Yeah. Which is biting me in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Who's uh, the other poke? The other poke is a uh, Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet gets raped because of encore changes. That's plain and simple, pretty much. Right. You can't the stay. On- you got three hits to fucking. You know. Three turns to get hit, and Wobbuffet can only live maybe two, if two. Right. So. Well, I mean, on court, I mean, Wobbuffet can lock you into a move. You can't switch out until it switches. So. It's pretty much stall, mate, pretty much, because what is Wobbuffet really going to do to something? Right. Well, if you're locked into a move like Swords Dance or a boosting move. It's no problem to stand for three turns. Well, there's nothing Wobbuffet can do to you if you're locked <laughs> like that. I mean, it can taunt you and make you struggle yourself to death. Can Wobbuffet taunt? E- no, yeah, on course. On course. Crap. I always get those two confused when I'm talking about Wobbuffet. But I mean... I've never seen one, use- let's be honest. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've never battled one either. But its usefulness, like you said, is depleted with um, Encore being reduced to only three to where it could have been seven before. And with so many insanely strong attackers, it it can't switch in and take hits like it used to. Right. I mean, it, uh, it gets it gets wrecked. You know, it right. doesn't have any fucking stats to go with any of the right. you know usefulness. If it if it was like wall stature, you know, what I mean, that'd be nice. But I mean, it's got a huge HP. Yeah, it's got huge HP, but that only goes you so far. But, but what are its defenses? Like sixty-eight 40? or something like that. Hold on, I could have swore I saw forty. I could be mistaken. I've been looking through so many friggin' stats lately, my head hurts. But I mean, other than that. I mean, Taunt completely destroys Wobbuffet, too. And there are so many Taunters running around. I know I got one now. And Team Preview? 58 defense, 58 special defense. Okay, 58. I mean, (laughs) with 190 HP is still not that great. I know. I only piece him out of 584, so... Right. But again, with Team Preview... You know one's coming, so you know to expect it. <laughs> and that's another thing. Before, you could surprise the shit out of people with Wobbuffet. And the one anything they could do about it, because you can't run. <laughs> you could use, what, Shed Shell or whatever the heck it's called. Yeah, you're right, that fucking little item. But that was get the, the f- only way to get away from it. Get I mean, unless you whirlwind it or something. But, I mean, e- even then it will encore you if you weren't already locked into Whirlwind or Roar, and you'll be screwed. Pretty much a good point. It, because uh, the negative priority of whirlwind and roar, you can't get away away from it that way. Right. It'll encore you into it. <laughs> right. No matter what. But unfortunately, this gen with again, it has pure psychic type, which isn't great. Because there's just so much stuff that can wreck it. Mm, but goes dark, dude. Gets molested. Right. It Plus gets molested. With Zorark, ah, I mean, I don't like it's, that thing. with its illusion, I mean, you switch in on, I mean, you bring Wobbuffet in on that, and you don't know, and then you get Dark, what's its special move, Dark Wave or whatever? Dark, 
Dark, well, I don't know. Fuck. I've never used one, so I don't know. It's dark something. It looks like dark pulse, but it's not. I'll find out in two seconds. We'll call it dark diarrhea attack. <laughs> and dark diarrhea. you take one of those to the face, and Wobbuffet's pretty much going down after that. Because you'll probably get encored into that, and it won't be able to take a second oh, hit. Cool. Plus, Wobbuffet, no recovery. What well, still has no recovery move. So unless you have leftovers, you're just getting destroyed each time you get hit. Are you talking about night days? Maybe that's it. Yeah, it's a special attack. But Wobbuffet just, I mean, without the element of surprise... With so many more powerful attackers and special attackers. He's going to get fucking molested. Cause yeah, it's just... It's I mean, awesome. The ability to not escape it does not outweigh its ability to get demolished with the more powerful attackers. And with Encore being reduced to three turns, unfortunately... It hinders his fucking usefulness altogether. Completely. So that's... Everything that I have. I don't today. have anything to talk about. I just throw my two cents in as we go. All right. One thing we have left to do is shout spotlight. out. Yeah. yeah. Spotlight, our uh, good friend who I've known for a while. I just picked up on him whenever you did that LOL video, and I laughed my fucking ass off oh. at that shit. And I was like, let me go see who the hell he's talking about. He and is I one s- of the funniest he's guys funny as on fuck. YouTube. I subbed to him instantly. He, is. You know, he made me laugh. He is freaking hysterical. His name is Clouds Liberation. Link will be in the description. Let's check this guy out. He has, he's got jokes, and he's funny as hell, and he does a yeah. little Sonic uh, racing or Sega Classics racing. Yeah. Right now, he's doing a series called Clouds Liberation. Beats the shit out of anybody who plays him at... <laughs> and he got his ass kicked today. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's won one of those episodes yet. Oh, and yeah. it's his girlfriend kicking his ass nine times out of ten, and it's just hysterical. <laughs> Because they, they talk saw, shit on each other the whole time and everything. I saw I saw him uh I saw the record at the end, it was like two and oh. He's lost twice. But yeah. <laughs> clever name is clever though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, he's just hysterical. He he does battle, his he does Pokemon battles, and his narrations there are always funny. He's always keeps your attention. He's a great narrator. He's last time I checked before we did this, he was at 667 subs, and he should have more than me, because let's face it, I'm not that entertaining. Fuck no, you're not that entertaining. You're just because you're old, everybody feels sorry for you. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. You are entertaining. Everybody at my senior citizen's residence has subbed to me, so you can suck my dick. <laughs> They're oh. faithful. <laughs> they are faithful. They were going after Scissor. I know, right? <laughs> that was funny. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, apparently my my subs are attacking people. Oh God, that's Which, funny. That's right, you subs keep it up. Keep it up, man. They're they're like right. only Derek could do that. What? And I was like, <laughs> no, no. oh shit. Yeah. Thanks for you being diehard. No, we we yeah. appreciate we'll ha- it. We'll have, to, we'll have to link those comments in the subscription so people know what we're talking or in the description so people know what we're talking. He removed about. the original comment that started it. Though. Aww. that's why you know he removed it. He said, uh. Dislike, no one can do that but Derek420 for real. And I was like, <laughs> the dislike? Why? Why? I was like, dude, that service my boy. He, he yeah. can do whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, so you removed it finally. <laughs> yeah, and but... apparently it stems all from you because, you know, they love you so much. Because anyone who made two jizz is awesome. So that's right. That's just kind of scary to think about, but okay. Yeah, the race is in my book if they can get me off. <laughs> But I think that will... Do you have any dubstep? Oh, shit. Let me go back. All right. Got a new song by Cone Sound. I will link it in the description. I do believe it's called Mr. Brown. Is an entitled Sweet. name. I will link it in the description for sure. And let me go find my favorites. Yeah, there it is. It is uh, Mr. Brown by Cone Sound. A different little type of dubstep. Instead of it being 140 beats per minute, it is 100 flat. And it makes for some uh, chill-ass dubstep. I will link in the description. You will love it. Trust me. Anyway, so I guess we're wrapping it up now. I left you a dubstep for the day. And this will be uploaded on Friday, I do believe. Yes, which will be tomorrow. today for everybody who's watching. He... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to upload it. I'm listed too. But yeah, we're going to try and keep these uploaded 
one day during the weekend because we both have different schedules and real life stuff. We uh, we can't okay. guarantee that it's going to be uploaded the same day every week, but we'll try to make it Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Sure will. So let's you can go ahead and exit because you know I gotta. All right, Toga peeps. This has been Two Perius Five. Thank you for watching episode two of the Storm Drain. Hope we didn't bore you too much. And uh, by the way, have a nice fucking day, YouTube.